Good day to you, friends and family. I give glory to God, and I hope you do too for this awesome day. Remember, no matter what happens, all is well with your soul. So let that put everything into its proper perspective. Make nothing greater than the Lord himself. We're just going to get right into it. I'm talking to leaders who need to stand up. Many of you need to take charge of your lives, of your environments. And you say, but Kelly, I'm letting the spirit lead. But really, has that really become a means of apathy or not doing anything? You know, uh, to let the spirit lead means that you're on your feet. You're going somewhere. It is many. There are many leaders, leaders in the body of Christ that need to stand up today. You know, you've suffered for something. You don't seem to understand what you've suffered for. And the modern, many modern, those who are most like prevalent or seen in the body of Christ, and that's not just online, but even worldwide, generally there's a lot of pride attached to it. But the Lord has raised up already in the spirit, humble leaders. You know, we're talking biblical type Davids, Deborahs, Esthers, and you need to stand up. You know who you are. I know that. I know that. And because you know who you are, but there's, again, those who are really in place as leaders in the body at this time, even though the body is so divided, it's hard to tell. But there's a lot of pride attached to that. And that doesn't sit right on you. It's like putting something on that just doesn't fit. Like there's no role for you. There's no path for you. And you have to understand that that's because you're making the path. And you have to understand that nobody has been placed, even geographically, specifically, where you have been placed. And you need to take charge of this atmosphere. You need to take charge of the narrative in your lives. Not only will your individual life turn around, meaning to fall in line with the word of God instead of, again, this just apathy. I'm talking to people that are just, you know, great in the spirit, that are just anointed and bold and have been specifically appointed, but you're not standing up. And, okay, I'm being reminded of the word that, uh, you know, when many things come to this earth, many of you will stand up then. But I just encourage you, and, and if this is just a word that is to just kind of stoke that flame for times to come, fine. But I, I just want to hear your voices today. I want more of you to stand up today. And that will mean different things for each of you. Um, you know, I'm just looking at my note here. We talked for several months about taking charge of the atmosphere. Now, I'm well aware that not everyone exactly understands the things that I say. But I'm also well aware that there are people who do. And this is who I'm talking to. You know, this is, these, are, this is, these are very specific messages because it's about authority and God there is authority in the Holy Spirit God has given each of us authority as according to his purpose for us and this purpose is 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 going to be it's like you're going to be thrown in the ring like that type thing but don't wait if you know who you are and you know who you are because you've felt this for a long time, this, this level of being set apart. And, and again, the magnitude of your suffering has not been arbitrary, but you need to stand up. And I'm not telling you to run ahead of the spirit, you know, because I know many will say, well, I'm just letting the spirit lead. But you know what? To some, something there is a false humility going on in some of you leaders because you you don't quite believe. You're not confident, okay? You're not confident. You know who the Lord is. You love the Lord, but you're very much on your own. You're very much, it's just me and God. And I'm telling you that you have to let the selflessness, okay? If Jesus was just Jesus and hid out in a cave and then one day gave his life, you know, but that's not what he did, okay? You have to remember whose footsteps you're walking in. Hallelujah. You know, this is the type of selflessness 
that the you leaders are called to. That's why there's no path been made because as of yet, you know, and, and continuing on, people are just here to make names for themselves. People are just here to make money, to be seen, to say the absolute basic to get the most likes because the absolute basic things really appeal to the most people. Even, not even basic, but, you know, sugar-coated basics. Like, it's really dumbed down. And you may not know. You may say, well, you know, I know. I have a purpose, I, I, but I don't know. What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to do you don't have to worry about that but i know for a fact because this is how he leads us that there are little things like almost like tweaks atmosphere how do you say atmospherically is that right like in the atmosphere and in the actual in your actual life narratives i need you to take charge where you can you can't do what you can do so don't worry about that you know you're not going to start running at 100 in your purpose in, in the lord if that if the lord hasn't empowered you and uh, this is our word from yesterday. If he's not empowered you and what was the other word? Unctioned, uh, U-N-C-T-I-O-N, -N, unction, Holy Spirit, unction. It's kind of like a, like a, I don't know, I can't explain, you know, but it's like, um, like a push, you know, to do what you're going to do. That's fine. You know, we're not going to go past the Lord's time, but I know for a fact that in your personal lives, because I mean, there's a, a listlessness that comes with not walking in your purpose. And I'm talking to leaders, not walking in purpose. Ugh. It's kind of reminiscent of that, the word when we we're talking about the soldiers that come home from war and they just feel like purposeless because how do you go back? How do you go back from being a warrior? How do you unsee what you've seen you can't? And I'm talking to even, I'm talking to leaders who haven't been put into leadership yet. So even more so, there's a sense of, I know that I'm called, but I don't understand what to what. And this is okay, and I want to let you know, I know for a fact this is just going to sit so well in many of your spirits because I'm talking to leaders. I, I I just know for a fact that you're there because Holy Spirit says so. And that there are leaders that I'm talking to. You know you were born for something. You've always known you were born for something. And the, the Lord is going to continue to bring you into this. But, again, some of you are sitting in a listless, listlessness like lazy and I understand that your full purpose hasn't come yet. I understand you don't know exactly what you're called to do yet. I understand for some of you YouTube channels, it's just not, that's not what you're called to when you know it. And that's okay. Listen, um, and for some of you, it's just the beginning like this, you know, um, nevertheless. So what I know is that you need to start, there's like loose ends in your environment, in your families or in your circles, in your communities, there's things that you can do. And, and how you know that is you're going to notice them and no one else is. And instead of continuing to look away, it is time to start using all that authority for the good of others. That's where it's going to start. This is like a next level training ground for you leaders. Okay, I need you to take it seriously because this selflessness, this is the remnant. This is the remnant. We are not here to serve ourselves, nor are we here to save the world. But nevertheless, are we here to win souls? Are we here? The Bible tells us that the Lord has anointed uh, before beforehand. He has prepared good works for you to do. And for anyone who's just uber religious or just wants to twist my words, no, we're not saved by works. But yeah, faith without works is dead. Nevertheless, for you leaders, especially the Lord has prepared specific things and you are where you are for a reason. Hear me and start to see, open your eyes, go for a walk around your neighborhood. And I want you to start walking in that authority. Yes. Listen, don't dumb it down just because you don't understand it. You know what's in you. You know what is in you and you know what you're called to do. And, and I know and perhaps no one else is in your life speaking this to you is talking to you like this, you know, um, I once spoke into the life of a brother in Christ similarly. And I remember him saying, well, just that no one's ever said these things to me. And he just brushed it off, you know, and I, I pray that wherever he is today, that he is walking in that authority. But I hope that you won't just brush it off just because you don't feel good enough because you know what? Sometimes we disqualify ourselves. God doesn't call the qualified. He's not calling you because, you know, when you compare yourself to everyone, you're like, that's not me. That's why he called you because that's not you.
That's why he called you. I need you to trust him above all. And you can't force this. You know, you can't force authority. You can't buy authority. You can't pray for authority. This is something that God has anointed you to do, and you've suffered greatly for it. This is something that he has tailor suited your life, generally even very difficult lives to keep it perfectly plain. This is what you were born to do. And it's time to start walking in it. At least start walking the authority. And I know you hear me. I know you can hear me. At least start act physically, actually walking in that authority. Minding yourself that this is not pride. I mean, all leaders, all fivefold ministry, everyone who's you know truly anointed in the Lord, who's truly been called to some some greater purpose in the kingdom of God, always must walk the line of falling into pride because it's a real authority. You know, because the power of God that you feel, that you experience, especially increasingly so as you walk in it, because you do well with a little, He'll keep give you know He'll give you more. Um, pride is a very real thing that you have to battle, of course. So be mindful. Nevertheless, don't shy away from it. Don't shy away from it. Don't fall into timidity. Just because you don't understand the whole calling, don't back away from your destiny. You are needed and you're needed for others. There are people waiting and there are future people that will be waiting. Start today, start today. And I just see this, I just, I don't know why I keep wanting, encouraging, uh, keep wanting to encourage you that no matter the weather, bundle up if you must, to go for a walk, walk in this authority. You've been pretending like it's not real or you've just been doing what you always do in life or kind of just tooting out and pretending like this thing coming up in you is not, re it's real, it's real. Callings are real. Anointing is real. Being chosen is real. And the truth is, no, not everyone is a David. Not everyone is an Esther. Not everyone has or will be called to great things in the body. And Lord knows you've suffered greatly for it. There's not a glory thing. This is not a, you know, uh, Queen, uh, Miss America, Mr. America type thing. Not at all. You have to walk in it. It's, it's time. You have to walk in that authority. And it'll fit you well. It'll fit you well because you're the one that's called to make that path. It'll fit you well and others will come behind you. You know, until you take a stand, none will stand up with you. This is what leaders do and it's not easy. Until you take a stand, none will stand up with you. Don't hold others back. Yeah, it's a great responsibility. Sure it is. But until you speak or until you walk in that authority, until you stand up, people are waiting on you to do what the Lord has called you to do. It's like a weird spiritual knowing. Suddenly you start speaking up or doing what you need to do and suddenly others do too. And it's not easy. And the paths that have already been forged have been tainted with pride and with self and with idolatry and all sorts of things. The body of Christ going forward Man, we are making the way clear, straight, clean for God's glory. And that's what you've been appointed to do. You know who you are. I don't have to tell you anymore. And I, I certainly don't have all the details to your calling. I wouldn't claim to. And the truth is, maybe some of you don't either. But I know for a fact, there's even a baby step in your life and you need to take it. You need to take it. You need to start walking in that authority. Yes, it's true. You're called. You're chosen. Yes, it's true. You were called to do great things in the kingdom. Yes, it's true. No, it's not going to be easy, but your life hasn't been easy. You already know that. Receive this. Receive this. It's not from me. It's from him. And it's not for you. It's for him. And it's for secondarily the people. But start today. It's real. What you're feeling is real. What's rising up in you, that's real. For an appointed time, and that time is now.